just did a dance for 80,000. Victor Cruz. I'm doing great, bro. Just chilling, man. Another Thursday, bro. Team yeah, USA got the dub today, baby. Team USA, bro. Hold on, bro. Let's talk about this Team USA dub, bro. Fuck Steve Kerr. He my number one op, nigga. That nigga Steve Kerr a bitch, nigga. Yeah, Steve Kerr, bitch ass nigga. We shouldn't even been losing to these niggas, bro. We came back down fucking almost 20 points on their ass, bro. Look at this bullshit. And I blame Steve Kerr, bitch ass nigga. I've been I've been shitting on Steve Kerr. Ever since we lost Coach K in the Olympics, nigga. Fuck Steve Jokic. Kerr, bitch ass been low-key fucking us, bro. It's his fault, bro. But anyways, <clears throat> I'm gonna let it go. It ain't even Jokic. That's what pisses me off. Like, bro, you will look at this game. Look at this. Jokic isn't even the number one scorer. You would think Jokic is the reason we lost. It's literally because of Steve Kerr, bro. Why we almost lost. Let me, let me tell y'all what happened, bro. I watched this game, bro. And I bet. And I won on this bitch. But let's talk about it, bro. Look. Fucking. The biggest problem is that Joel Embiid started. I don't know why Steve Kerr decided to think that, oh, we should start Joel Embiid against Jokic. Bro. Joel Embiid is not a better player against Jokic than Anthony Davis is. And I could go look up stats in comparison head-to-head, -head, but I'm willing to bet money that there is no statistics that will show you that Joel Embiid is a better player against fucking Jokic than Anthony Davis is. Anthony Davis plays 10 minutes while Joel Embiid plays 27. Dog, if we swap this shit, if we swap this shit, we don't go down. We don't get, we don't lose by, look at these niggas, 31 points in the first quarter. They scored 31 off of three-pointers. They were shooting like 80% from the three in the first half. And do you know why? Oh, I know why. It's because Joel Embiid is an awful defender. That nigga Joel he folds every against time Jokic's. against Jokic. Exactly. And not only can he not guard Jokic, guess what? When he gets switched on anyone who's a shooter, what does Joel Embiid do? Nothing. Because <laughs> he's not very fast on defense. Do you know how many times I've seen Anthony Davis block a three-pointer shot? I've never seen Joel Embiid do that. And you go find me a clip of Joel Embiid doing that. He's never done that shit, bro. He's not fast enough. He doesn't have the lateral quickness. He can't quickly get up to that three-point line. If we put fucking Anthony Davis in this in this game and start him, I don't think that we fucking lose the first quarter 31 to 23. I think we probably tie at 25 25 or something like God locks up Jokic he locks all him up the time all the time bro so that's why i'm just saying like i don't understand how steve kerr logically said hmm let's start jewelry like that just doesn't make sense bro and it's funny because if you just look at box scores he had a good game he did shoot eight for 11 he did play well it took him the second half to get his shit going and to actually get his shit together but he did play solid he just didn't play any fucking defense and every time Especially there was a switch the yeah and every time there was a switch gang he didn't know what to do and it was lighting these niggas up look at these niggas bro they ended up finishing 38% from the three, but they started shooting damn near fucking 60. They was killing us, bro. Bogey missed hella threes in the fourth quarter, but anyways, that's the problem. And that's why the game was so damn close. But we came through. We came back. We was down hella points. They like 15 at one point. Made that shit work. Another thing Curry did I didn't like in the game was we had got hella momentum, finally cut the lead to six in the, the third quarter. And he rests all our starters except for KD. I'm like, bro. We... Curry did his shit. Yeah, Curry went crazy. But I'm like, bro, we just got our momentum. And you go sub out Curry, LeBron, fucking all these niggas. Like, this doesn't make any sense. Like, we just got the momentum. Go at least let us tie the game. Don't take them out when we're fucking up, down six now. Like, come on, bro. Like, that shit pissed me off, bro. But anyways, you know how Team USA hold it down, bro. We made, it, we made up for that shit, bro. We bounce back, bro, like we always do, bro, and we still won that shit, even though Kerr wanted us to lose, bro. <laughs> Kerr was playing Kerr was playing for Serbia, bro. He was coaching for them, nigga. I don't know who the fuck he thought he was doing, because he wasn't on our team, nigga. That nigga Kerr. That nigga was on the other team, bro. Just like when he didn't let Jason Tatum get no burn that one game, that was stupid, too. But that's my opinion. But either way, it was a good-ass game. Great game to be midday like this. And, I mean, it was just fantastic, bro. It was a fantastic game. It was so good. Down to the wire. It was even, like, one or two-point deficit in most of the fourth quarter. I saw a funny ass tweet. Somebody said, the last 10 minutes of the fourth quarter of this game is going to go viral in 2030 when the young kids finally find out about it. <laughs> Lakers funny. gone ball this year if we don't play the Nuggets and we play the Mavs or the Grizzlies. Yeah, facts. I mean, Lakers will be solid. We just need bench, bro. I mean, last time I checked, we just need depth. We don't have depth. I think that's our biggest problem. I think Bronny James is going to help us a lot more than a lot of niggas think. I think Bronny James is going to be the guy to come off of the bench in game 45 down the line when we really need help. 
and he's going to surprise a lot of people because he's a lot better than I think that a lot of people think he is. But we don't have enough bench, bro. <laughs> we do not have enough depth to really be like a good, solid team. Like, it's crazy we even fucking finished third. Like, realistically, we should have finished worse than that. But we have LeBron James, Anthony Davis, who fucking carries us. But no, realistically, dog, <clears throat> this nigga got to go. Dalton is gone. Go crazy. Dalton is solid. He's a great shooter. This nigga got to go. I want this nigga off my team. Find a trade. I don't care. Just somebody else. Get him off my team. This nigga got to go. I actually like Cam Reddish, but they be hating on Cam Reddish. But I do like Cam Reddish. But the funny thing is, at a $2 million salary, the fact that Dalton Connect or whatever his name is might be better than him is going to be interesting. Um, I really like Roy Hachimura. People be hating on this nigga. I love this nigga. He's one of my favorite players. I didn't know we got Harry Giles. We must have got him in the offseason. Jordan Poole better than that nigga, probably. <clears throat> Jordan Poole better than who? Cam Reddish? Yeah, definitely. Jordan Poole's a max player for sure. And he got a ring. He helped them niggas get the ring. This nigga sucks. Get him off my team. I don't even know who this nigga is. He probably sucks. Who else on this team? Jackson Hayes is good. I like Jackson Hayes. He's what a good, Cam he's a good Reddish, though? Player. Cam Reddish is cool, but I just think that he's, like, overrated. People be gassing him up to be raw, and he don't really be doing nothing. I watched him at Duke, and I used to like him, which is funny. But ever since he got into the league, I feel like he's just kind of mid. He sucks. Yeah, I don't really think he's really done shit. Anyways. Jared Vanderbilt's pretty good. I fuck with Vanderbilt. He's one of our greatest defenders, and he really holds it down. Gabe Vincent ain't did shit last year, but I do like Gabe Vincent. It's crazy this nigga makes $10 million, but if we do want to talk about resume, he got that shit. And Christian Wood is that nigga. I fuck with Wood. So, I mean, like, I think we have a solid team. We just need to make moves, though. Like, if we don't make any moves by the trade deadline, I don't see us winning the title. I think that Rob Palenka has to lock in, and he has to move somebody around. And I don't know why Dalton... Oh, here he is. I was like, I didn't see him on the list. I don't know how I missed that. I was like, I didn't see him. But we have to move some of these people around. This guy's got to go. This guy's got to go. <laughs> this guy's for surely got to go. Like, wait a minute. This is last year. Yeah, it doesn't. No, it, it's updated because it says Coach J. Right? Whatever. But anyways, yeah, we just got to move these niggas around, bro. This is too many teams. I don't even think we can have this many players to start the season anyways. I think you only have 15, right? Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's 15. So some of these niggas are gone and are going to the I'm G League I'm sorry, for Jordan sure. Poole has more skills than Russell. 100%. Bro, Jordan Poole is a really good player. I hate that nigga personally. Like, I'm not a fan of him, but he's a good player. Yeah, like, in terms of skill set, I mean, he's like a top... What? I don't even want to say nothing crazy. What, a top 20 guard right now? Like, I mean, that's pretty reasonable. Top 20 point guard, yeah. And he's pretty, he's pretty good, man. Like, he gets max money for a reason. He's definitely... He's definitely a pretty good player. But, yeah. That Team USA, man, that shit was a shocker, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. That shit was, uh, shit was a little crazy, bro.